welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another meme tier day. I know it's Tuesday, but we have just too many cool donation decks to get to from viewers submitting some decks um, for our meme tier day. And so we're going to be uh, running it back and we're going to have uh, meme tier Monday part two, meme tier Monday Tuesday edition today with Anivia's Boomship is going to be our first one. This is going to be our very first deck. Um, built around the new card Boomship. So Boomship is deal one damage to a unit. So three mana, deal one damage. Slow speed. Not that great, you know, because uh, Gohart is one mana, drain one, which is better than deal one to a unit. And that only costs one mana. This costs three. But the good part about this is after you deal one, you get to summon powder kegs equal to the amount of damage dealt. Well, you think, well, it's only only deals once. You only get one powder keg. But if you have more powder kegs in play already, when, before you play the boom ship, maybe you have two powder kegs in play because of a more powder. Now the boom ship does three damage, and then it summons three powder kegs because it dealt three damage. So that could be pretty cool. So we're going to be using this new card um, with Freljord and with Anivia. And so basically what the point of our deck is with Freljord is to combine these... Um, powder kegs with things that do a lot of damage throughout the whole board, right? Combine it with Avalanche. We have two powder kegs in play. Now Avalanche does four damage to all units. So we can really clear up the board. You know, Anivia's attack, of course, does one to them or leveled up does two to all their stuff. But with powder kegs, you know, now it's doing, you know, three or four or five damage to all their stuff. We can, you know, basically build your own pack your bags with uh, powder kegs and Anivia's attack. We also have it that stairs. They can deal two to all other units. Um, and then Gangplank's attack. Same thing. Deal one to all enemies in the enemy nexus. Same thing and with the powder kegs whenever whenever you have a leveled up Gangplank. So we're going to try to level up Gangplank, have a Nivea. We're going to have those things attacking and wiping their board with um, powder kegs and wiping their board um, with it that stairs and avalanche. And then also the Dreadway to double it up. Dreadway to double up the Anivia damage, double up the Gangplank damage. Should be a lot of fun with all of that. Um, but we are going to need to deal some Nexus damage to level up Gangplank. So in order to do that, we got Crackshot Corsair in here. Um, and of course, remember, Anivia's attack deals Nexus damage as well. And then we have like an Elusive with Sprayfin that can maybe get some hits in also. All right, so that's our deck. It's Meme Tier Day. We're just going to be playing it in normal. Playing against some Scouts. So a bunch of Sweepers could be good against Scouts. I want like a Nivea attacking at that stairs, but these are also expensive, but I, I like them. But they're expensive. I really want to find Avalanche. None of those are Avalanche. Still not Avalanche. Yeah, probably Plaza, that's true. Probably Plaza with Scouts. That's not bad. Legion Saboteur. It's not bad. Hmm. Surprising they have nothing to play. A little surprising they have nothing to play. We're going to need more powder. You're covered. Mm. Good. Definitely could see them taking out the powder keg, which would just save me three life. So there we go. Use that to save me three life. So that's not bad. Be nothing left when I'm done. 
Maybe we can save an additional three life. My shield is yours. That's a finer shot. Struck me out and all. Honor guide me. Ooh, okay. So I can go grab a Nivea. I mean, I may get Gangplank, though, I guess. No, let's just make the attack. This is a good attack. Let's just do that. This is kind of weird that we have, like, all of these little things. But then, you know, we have, like, uh, our sweepers also. Yeah, that's a good card. Basically just using spell mana, because I'm going to go play the spray fin. I don't know, I also have the entreat. Maybe I should just use it there. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Gotta go with the flow. Okay, two out of five. Interesting. Soldier to me. So I'm pretty sure the Scythia just kills me. Don't really see anything else that it does besides just kill me. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't see any live. I don't. I, yeah, I don't see any line that keeps us alive. If they just attack with everything, they may get greedy and attack with the scouts first. But no. Yeah, that's all they gotta do. All right, GG's. This isn't the end. Okay, looks like some Poros. This again could be a good Avalanche matchup. We didn't we didn't draw Avalanche till it was a little too late there last game. We drew all of our two twos, and not Avalanche. Get rid of all those things. Possible should Mulligan spray fin also. Okay, good. We got Avalanche. That's good. Do we want to lead with Crackshot Corsair? If I lead with the Corsair, it could be good for dealing damage to level up Gangplank. But then it's also bad to play it before Avalanche, so I guess I'll just wait. Especially how we know they're probably going to be aggressive with these Daring Poros. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Potato. Yeah, maybe we need a couple of like fast spell Dam fast damage things so we're not just wasting our our powder kegs all the time. Maybe some make it rain. Okay, so uh, cleared that up. We're a couple cards ahead. I gotta play this more like a control deck. Don't need to throw down spray fin right now. So we know we know they have three cards in hand. One's a daring Poro. One is another Poro that the the one cost Poro created. Keep up, keep up. See, that's what we got to do with this deck. We got to play slower. Take um, that Brom's gonna kind of be a problem. Yeah, 
Yeah, the problem's kind of going to kind of be a problem. Iterative Improvement Poros. Yeah, I mean, Crackshot can can pop some barrels for us. They don't kill the barrels, but that's not it's not a very good use of the barrels, right? Like, dealing one damage to them or dealing three damage to them, like, with two barrels just isn't, isn't really important. Like, we're not going to win a game because we dealt one damage or we dealt three damage. Cause... You know, if they're up 14 right now or 17, it's, it's the exact same life total. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like this take hard on this problem. Yeah, this problem's gonna be a problem. I could troll chain and keep Anivia alive. We live here. But then the problem is, is how how do how would I protect Anivia turn nine? I guess we can figure that out whenever it gets here. Yeah, so I'll go boom ship, kill their daring Poro this next turn. Uh, never mind, they drew a third Braum. I'll do three damage to it. That's a great draw. I really wish I didn't play this Crackshot Corsair. It's going to blow up my Powder Keg, but I can't afford it to blow up the Powder Keg either. I guess I have to cast the Boom Ship first. Otherwise, it's only going to do one damage. It's going to wait. So now our things do double damage, so now Boom Ship can kill the Daring Poro. Overwhelm. And so with this dealing six damage, it would put six Powder Kegs back for me. Now that can matter with oh because that we doubled it we double this damage also with dreadway okay this can end up being a whole bunch of damage so we're gonna have eight kegs so that means we do nine damage but then that's doubled so that's 18 damage let's make it more Let's make it nine powder kegs. That's probably not enough. We probably need to make it ten. Alright, so let's just make it ten powder kegs. And so this does 20 damage. <laughs> okay. This is crazy. Deal 22 Nexus damage. Because it's it's 1 plus 10 is 11. And then double because of this. So 22 Nexus damage. 
No! Our hopes and dreams. I am surprised this problem's not leveled up yet. No, the mystic shot to kill our hopes and dreams. No overwhelm, right? Or do they have overwhelm? Oh, it does have overwhelm. Oh, it does have overwhelm. Alright, good good draw. The heart of the fluff. And of course, I mean, they, they challenged, I guess they challenged Sprayfin anyway, but yeah. Ah, uh, the Mystic Shot killed our hope, hopes and dreams. That was a good game, though. That was a good game. I thought we were winning that one. Okay, back to scouts. We're going to try to do a better job drawing Avalanche, even though I had to Avalanche that second game. Like, Petty Officer is not good against Challengers plus Misfortune, but it's also not a bad card of, like, getting, like, the multiple bodies and everything if they don't have Misfortune. Or, like, if they don't have Misfortune, Petty Officer is much better than if they do have Misfortune. I'm gonna try keeping them. Okay, cool. Avalanche. Good. Anivia and Gangplank. Gangplank got one. Awesome. So even if they have Rangers Resolve, we'll still kill all their stuff. Sharp sight. Huh. They still conceded. Uh, I guess that's a victory. Okay, Karma Zoe. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, I know that wasn't like the best game. You were counting that as our, our first win. I know that was real short with them just conceding. That happens sometimes here in normal. We're going to count it with, uh, that's also happened before, so we had two of those, same kind of things, of, you know, in turn four, turn five, something like that, the opponent just conceding. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just count that for one of our five games. Because uh, it was a, a board wipe, and so that's always a good sign of winning. All right, anyway, Karma, Zoe, we're going to uh, Mulligan... Some of the top end. I kind of want to keep the Dreadway. I kind of want to keep the Dreadway. But we're going to mulligan those top end cards. Alright, we'll lead with the Crackshot Corsair. I do kind of feel like Make It Rain could be pretty cool in this deck with all these Powder Kegs. You know, some other way to do damage to multiple of their things not be slow speed because we're really relying on on like avalanche for our early game right now but then avalanche also kills all of our early things as well Yeah, warning shot's an option. I, I don't think I'd want to play warning shot though. We need 
We need interaction for them, not... I think we need that more. Um, than just Nexus damage. So my plan here is, you know, obviously to kill Zoe, we're dealing one damage to Zoe, but then we'll get one powder keg and then we'll attack afterwards and blow up the powder keg. I was... I played this uh, Dreadway Deckhand last turn thinking that... I should have let them attack with the Zoe first, I guess, before playing it. But yeah, I was thinking that I wanted to do two damage to the Zoe with that boom ship. And we, as we saw with them have that pill cascade, if we could have done two damage, we would have saved... You know, would have failed to kill it. So they have two celestial cards that cost three or less. One from the Spacey Sketcher, one from the Zoe. They're going to be able to get another super cool star chart. I am not able to play Boom Ship and Gangplank next turn. We do one or the other. Yeah, Parlay would also be a good option. That could be a good card, too. Ugh, can't quite play that and Boom Ship. Okay, so hopefully that doesn't protect Zoe now. That's why Zoe's real good, though. You know, like, we've we've had to use a couple of removal spells to try to kill it. Much more expensive removal spells than it is. Plus, it's made multiple super cool star charts and gotten them multiple free cards. All for one mana card. And then, like, their only protection they used on it was a Pill Cascade, which also just drew them a card. So that is why they have... They have an additional card in play than what I do, plus also have twice as many cards in hand as I do. And thanks to that, Zoe. I'll buy some time. Captain's orders. Oh. Back, heretic. Okay, good avalanche. Draw. Really looking good, too. With what my opponent has in play. I'm gonna go with the Anivia, though. Yes. Both... That's unfortunate. Yes, if you have if you have uh, kegs in play, both parts of the parlay do more damage, right? So it would do like three damage to their nexus and three damage to a unit if you have two powder kegs. Like a fish in water. <laughs> okay, I like that. Good card. I guess I should be attacking with the spray fin. Yeah, I should be attacking to make Gangplank 4 out of 5. Double Trickster. The coral. I've got us covered. This would be a good winter. If they only had the if they I probably wouldn't cast that troll chant if they only had one trickster. Both of them having two casting that, keeping that alive. Alright, so now Gangplank's at four out of five. Man, this it that stairs is gonna be big. Fly away while you can. You can't do this. Forgive. 
So I think we can, we can be pretty patient on our removal. There's no real reason to use it on just a little sparkle fly. Make them play more things. That's perfectly fine with me. Hmm, that's not as fine with me. Let him play out. So this will level up Gangplank. So that next turn... It's fine, it still levels up. The next turn we start making powder kegs. Water is mine and mine alone. What spells have we played? Troll chant? Probably take troll chant. Guessing they have a troll chant. Yeah, silence on the keg stack. Yeah, so we kind of we have to kill the keg. I do not want to kill the gangplank before it can attack again. The answer lies within. Explosives. Ooh. Latrian only. Do not question our resolve. Interesting. I never. Because I only have Troll Chant for them to grab, right? Just like Troll Chant and more powder? Isn't that all I have? An Avalanche? I guess they could grab Avalanche. Rest. Collect your thoughts. The ocean herself will fear us! There's no finer sight. Alright, that hurts. So we can double, double our damage. I think this Gangplank is still like my best card to play. We can certainly assume that they have a troll chant. At least one, which is plus four, which would make makes karma a six seven. They may possibly have more troll chants. Oh, Entreat. That was another card I played. Yeah, Entreat's a good one for them to take. So I should have one Gangplank left in the deck. And so I'm hoping this one stays alive because I want to play Parlay. So they have to kill my Gangplank this turn. 
Otherwise, you know, we can go immediately to attacks and get the attack ability with Gangplank. Uh. That's too bad. Both grabbed Equinoxes. Man, Zoe's really fair. Ah, kind of crazy how people th people thought that Zoe needed a buff like just immediately day one. If they didn't have the Equinoxes, this would be doing 8 damage, which would be awesome. Yeah, you could have a negative attack here, but it, it just shows a zero, but, you know, it could be, like, negative four. Like, that, that happens sometimes, like, if they have, um, yeah, if they have cards that reduce your attack to be more than zero, you know, like, like let's say you have a one-one, and they play something that reduces, you know, that gives it, like, minus two, minus zero, like a troll chant, for example, and, uh, or, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, if it gets reduced, you know, like, let's say you have, like, negative four attack, and then you... But it'll just say zero on screen, so if you play a Pale Cascade, it will still be zero, um, even though it just go to like negative two. Explosives. It's a good draw. Hey, Choo Choo. <laughs> you hate Targon? Yeah. Yeah, Targon's a little too good right now. Compared to the other units. That was kind of the same with Bilgewater, though, right? Whenever Bilgewater came out and, and same kind of thing. I think just same kind of thing. But yeah, like this is this is too good. <laughs> No, we're not getting patch notes today. Yeah, there's going to be a patch in January that's like already been decided, and then the first balance patch... Um, here, this right here. There you go, Choo Choo. The first balance patch that will affect these Cosmic Creation cards, so... First one that will affect, like, the Grand Plaza won't be until February. Um, because basically they... Um, they have to have the, the... They have to, like, know what the changes are going to be and, like, submit the changes to, like, um, iTunes and that kind of stuff, like, three or four weeks ahead of time. And... Um, and right now, everybody... Like, they're on holiday right now, so by the time... By the time that they start, like early January whenever they're like looking at like the data and decide what they want to do with you know Grand Plaza or anything else like that and then submit it to like iTunes and stuff for it to that takes like three or four weeks and so by the time that that actually will change will be February 9th I think they said We 
We've only seen one in Nivea so far. Interesting. So they played three concussive bombs. That's interesting that they they chose to play that thing that gave all their things plus four plus four instead of playing Supernova, the thing that like obliterated two things. Which I'm not saying is necessarily wrong. I'm just saying interesting. Argon just has all the great cards. Hush, Pill Cascade. Has them all. Celestials are not fair. We understand. All right, one and three. Okay, playing against um, Bilgewater Demacia, with just Gangplank. So no, yeah, you can't you can't make you can't make Pale Cascade a fast spell. You can't can't really do that with Pale Cascade or Hush. You can't really do those with the the combat spells. But what Pale Cascade could do, I mean, I just Targon doesn't need all the card advantage that it has. It has way too many cards that draw cards, compare compare you know compared to the other regions, and also like you know the invokes. That's kind of the problem with, with Targon's power right now. So what if... Um, I'm just going to keep the Dreadway. Dreadway's cool. What if Pill Cascade... Uh, let's see. So how could, we, how could we change that card? What if it did the same thing? It gave plus two, plus one, but then the Nightfall bonus, instead of drawing a card, the Nightfall bonus was it gained an additional plus one, plus one. So it turned into a plus three, plus two with Nightfall. That'd be a very powerful combat trick still. Very powerful. Got a surprise for him. At least I wouldn't get free cards though. Yeah, I mean it just yeah, compares very well to Sharp Sight. Would you have it be Would you have it be No, because it, it couldn't just be plus one, plus one, and then Nightfall, another plus one, plus one, and then it's plus two, plus two. I mean, I guess it could. That would make it more like the other pump spells. But, I mean, they would just be a strictly worse sharp side at that point. Well, I was hoping that they would play stuff into these. Yeah, but maybe I could have just attacked with the Powder Keg. I guess that would have been better than passing. I mean, obviously it would, be, would have been better than passing. But I was, I was hoping to do some other stuff depending on what they did. But they just passed as well. Sorry, I was I was thinking more of the Pale Cascade card than than that specific turn.
Weston! With that resub for 15 months. Y'all get that hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Weston. I'm gonna bling out my hype boats. It could also just be, you know, kind of just take the... The other thing that you could do is just take the Bilgewater approach, right? Bilgewater, same kind of thing, started too powerful comparatively. And uh, basically they took the two mana spells and made them three. You know, um, because they, the cards at two mana were too good. And so turned them into three mana. That could be the same kind of thing with Targon. Um, you know, we saw... You know, because we saw Make It Rain was two mana and... Uh, what's the uh, Pilfer Goods was two mana, and then you know they get two mana like those saw all sorts of play, and then you bumped up to three. And they still see a little play, but you know they aren't dominant like they were. The you could do the same thing with the Targon spells, right? Like Hush and Pale Cascade are just everywhere. Same thing with Sharp Sight, honestly. Like all those spells at two mana are just really, really powerful. I could see all three of those cards going to three mana. Plaza and Go Hard are the two things that are the most powerful. I agree that... Honestly, it would probably be better just to buff up some other regions. I think that's that's probably better than necessarily nerfing stuff right now. Because things are pretty even. But maybe like Ionia, um, PNZ, Bilgewater. Those are the regions that are getting played less than others. Um, maybe they could gain some more buffs. I'm not sure if it's better to play Anivia or Gangplank here, right? Like we could intrigue, draw Anivia. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, I suppose I leave you so deal two. And then we get two powder kegs, and then deal three. My plan here is boom ship the two two, get two power kegs. And now Parlay will do three damage. Do three damage to this Jagged Butcher and then three to their Nexus. The third sharp sight. Yeah, like I Ionia could definitely use some help. Yeah, it has like it has like a few cards that you can you know that see play and you you basically play Ionia as a support region with a few certain cards. Um but overall as a region, you know, like you just can't build like a bunch of different Ionia decks because the elusives have been nerfed way too much. Like a fish in water. <laughs> this should probably just be an immediate attack. Okay, rewarded. Because obviously, you know, I love this attack, right? With the overwhelm damage here. We don't have to worry about our game clank taking any damage. Take three from Warren shot, no big deal. So they're going to be able to attack and kill this powder keg. But that's okay. I, I like having the dreadway deck hand to be able to block the other thing. Okay. Also, the powder keg ate up a bunch of damage there. Also not bad. So yeah, the powder keg only affects one cannon barrage, only the first cannon barrage. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a dying. 
Make them go boom! The dead don't need riches. Got a surprise for him. Clear off. At three out of five. I know this could do a lot more damage if I wait a turn and wait for the Dreadway, but I want to level up this Gangplank, and this is kind of the price of me not attacking with that one-two into the Powder Keg earlier. It's four out of five. Now this Gangplank will make it five out of five. This parlay. And I'm just going the safe route again, going with the Nexus. Instead of killing these, just going the safe route. Time to have our boom ship attack. Light them up. You got legs. Use them. There we go. Overwhelm damage. Finishes it out. GG's. We won the boom ship mirror. All right, so there we go. There's Anivia's boom ship. Boom ship looked okay. You know, like it. It really did. It. Um, you know, it basically increases the, like, if you have any number of powder kegs in play and then you play boom, boom ship afterwards, you're going to have one additional powder keg. Um, I guess, unless you have the dreadway in play, then you'll get a lot more. You'll, you'll get an additional powder keg after the boom ship. Um, I think this could be a, a pretty fun card, maybe for a future meme tier Monday to try with unyielding spirit, where we can try to keep on, um, just adding on powder kegs and hope we don't play against somebody with hush. Or, you know, like the, the Targon Silence cards, Equinox. That was a difficult one. Um, but that was pretty cool, being able to to have that. We didn't get to make, like, a whole bunch of Powder Kegs for a Gangplank or an Anivia anytime. Uh, but you can see the potential uh, that is there with those kind of cards. A lot of different cool things you can do with Boom Ship. And, uh, yeah, we went with the Sweepers with this one. All right, so that's Anivia's Boom Ship. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. What do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? Feel free to send me those suggestions um, or uh, just anything like that. Anything about the deck? Um, yeah, I'd love to see that. All right, but that's it here for Anivia's Boom Ship. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.